everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jennifer on this channel I focus on fashion beauty and lifestyle and sometimes we do vlog so if it's something you're interested in seeing please be sure to click the subscribe button and be part of this awesome family so in today's video we're gonna be doing a natural makeup look and all the products that I'll be using on this tutorial are from the drugstore so yes very affordable and of course you're not gonna broke the bag as you guys can see I have a beer face already for you guys and now let's just do some makeup transformation yeah so I already have on my face moisturizer so the first thing we're gonna do is to prime our face and we're gonna be using the master primer from Maybelline so we're gonna take a tiny bitty and just apply that all around our face So priming your face before foundation is very important because it serves as a barrier to protect your skin. It also helps your makeup last longer, so you always want to prime your face, okay? So as you all know, I love to do my brow first. Some people like to do their brow last, whichever works for you. I love doing my brows first. So we're going to be using our NYX Brow Pencil. So you want to follow the shape of your brows. Because I have a full brow, I'm just doing it lightly. I'm just doing a lighter stroke on my brow. So I'm using a spoolie brush just to brush, brush it up making sure the product is deposited everywhere so what have you guys been up to thank you guys so much for watching the last video like I said we are planning for a giveaway so it's definitely gonna happen in February yeah so stay tuned so I like to bring it a little forward like this because I want the natural effect so it looks more natural so it's time to clean up the brows yeah it's very important for you to clean up the brows so it looks nice and neat so I'm gonna be using the elf 16 hour camel concealer So I'll be using this flat angle brush from MAC. This is old but a goodie. And I'm just gonna pick a generous amount that I needed. So I'm bringing the concealer down to my eyelid because so I'm going to use it as a primer to prime my eyes. So that's what you see me doing. I'm using the CEO Technique brush to just blend it down. You want to make sure that you clean it up. So you don't want to leave no fine lines, so you have to blend it down. Blending is the key. So yeah, so, so far this is what we got for the bottom and we're going to do the upper brow. So for the upper brow, you can use a foundation that matches your skin tone or you can use a concealer that matches your skin tone. I love to use concealer. So the concealer I'll be using is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I'm using this flat shadow brush from e.l.f. So 
you want to be extremely careful when doing this step so I'll be using the same brush just to blend it down So this next step you can skip if you don't have blemishes or dark spots to cover but I like to cover those spots a little bit especially when I'm using a foundation that is not a full coverage it's a stick foundation so this is what I'm doing and just tap that to where I have dark spot that I wanted to cover So next we're going to be using a foundation from Revlon. So it's called the Photo Ready Candid Foundation and they said it's natural finish anti-pollution foundation. So in the shade 500, I'm new to this foundation but since we're doing an all drug stock products makeup look, so I decided to try it. So let's see how it goes. So I'm going to pump like three or four pump. It's look a little bit lighter, but let's see how we're going to work with it. When it comes to drugstore foundation, Maybelline does a good job. Revlon does a good, they have a lot of shades to choose from. So we're going to just use a random sponge just to I don't know if it's on the camera it's a little bit lighter but let's see maybe when it stays on it's gonna oxidize Oh my god, I forgot to apply the glue under my foundation. The liquid glue we're going to be using is from NYX. So I'm still going to just put that a little bit here. So I'll add a little foundation right here. because we'll miss that step so it's not a full coverage so it's buildable meaning you can add as you go if you want to cover your spots or blemishes like I'm doing Don't forget to bring it down to your neck. So, not too so bad. I thought it was really, really like lighter than my skin tone, but this was the closest shade I could find, guys. <laughs> so, it seems like it's working. Okay, so let's just give it some time so that I could just oxidize and dry. Sometimes when you apply your foundation and with the lighting, it looks white, it looks pale, especially when you're trying out a new foundation. So um, yeah, it's a game of chance sometimes, guys. 
so that's the reason why I wanted to wait a little bit and see because I wasn't sure but so far it's okay so next we're gonna do our eyeshadow so we're gonna be using this palette from covergirl so yeah so that's the shade it has some neutral some brown and some peach so I'm gonna be using this old blending brush on Mac I don't see the number I need to buy some new brush on Mac because their brushes are amazing but they are very expensive though very expensive <laughs> so we're gonna use this I'm moving that all down to my crease So I'll be using the second blending brush from Beauty Technique and I'm just going to blend the excess to my crease because I don't want no fine line. So we do the same thing for this. So we're going to be using the flat angle brush and we're going to be using this shade right here. Onto our lid. We bring it up to the cut crease area. So I'm going to be using this dark shade here to add to the corner of my eyes. So we're going to press that down here. So I'm wiping this brush because I want to use it back to just blend that in. Just a little bit you don't want the little um, shimmer to come all the way up to the crease so I'm just being light handed just trying to clean that up I'm gonna do that the same thing for over here so the next step is highlight and conceal so we're not gonna do too much just a little bit of everything I'll be using my all-time favorite the um, Elegal Pro concealer in the color cool tan <laughs> and of course my forehead the bridge of my nose Time to blend, blend, blend. So we'll be using the Black Radiance, the Black Radiance setting powder. It looks yellow a little bit, just like the um, Shasha Buttercup. But I like the Shasha Buttercup. So for a drugstore brand, I like using this one too. So I'm just placing the setting powder on the areas that I highlighted. So we're gonna be using the same DACA concealer foundation stick that I used earlier on. So we're gonna Sculpt our face a little bit. My forehead. Just to give my face that dimension. And I'm going to use that for my nose as well. A 
A little goes a long way, guys. I know, I know, we are looking crazy right now. I know, but just hold on. We're gonna finish up, okay? So now I'm gonna be dusting up the setting powder. I'm gonna be using a Morphe um, blender. It has the shape and it's so cute and nice for blending my concealer. Can you see that? Can you see that? Mm. I wasn't expecting for it to look this sculpt, but it's giving me life. So next we're gonna use the Wet, Wet and Wild bronzer. So we're gonna use that to bronze the face. Moving on to my favorite part, the lipstick. We're gonna pop this lips and we're gonna be using the CoverGirl Melting Pot Matte Lipstick. The name of the shade is Ballerina and the number is 305. And we're gonna, of course, line our lips. We're gonna be using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Cappuccino. So we're gonna line those lips. DIY lip scrub because these lips are not I'm not feeling it I used this before I start the video guys the Vaseline brown and my lips are still dry so I need to make a DIY lip scrub guys I hate winter for dryness your skin is drying so fast your lips are suffering mm -mm -mm. I hate it so if you like your lips to look matte you can leave it like this but if you prefer your lips to be a little more glossy or shiny then you can apply lip gloss and i have this one from wet and wild just for it to be a little bit shiny so yeah this look is coming through are you feeling it i'm feeling it guys so yeah so last but not the least we're gonna pop those lashes i'm gonna apply my lashes and my mascara and that'll be it for this look guys so yeah stay tuned so guys if you watch this video to this very point please don't forget to subscribe and give me a huge thumbs up that helps me on youtube and of course share this video to your friends and loved ones that would mean a lot to me and thank you so much i appreciate you guys so 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 much for support on this channel for more videos like this please stay tuned and keep coming back and turn on the notification so you get notified anytime i upload a new video it's because you don't want to miss out you want to keep coming back because yeah guys we're gonna be having yummy content here trust me i'm ready i'm all ready <laughs> so we're gonna be using the pump up mascara from maybelline My lash are pretty healthy guys if you want your lashes to be healthy to go let me a comment I'll do a video showing you guys what I use for my natural lashes to grow okay guys let me a comment let me know if you guys want to see that video and I'll show you guys my regimen that I use for my lashes to grow this healthy and full Yes, these are all mine. These are mine. So 
most time I don't use lashes except occasionally if I really want a bum bum look but for the purpose of this tutorial for this natural look to pop we're gonna need a lash last but not the least we're going in with some lashes and we're gonna be using my brand Genfish Beauty my lashes are mink lashes and look at the style guy it's almost sold out it's gonna be on stocks leading mink lashes cruelty free and my website is at the back www.genfishbeauty.com so yeah your girl has her own brand so please support i'll leave the link on the description box so you guys could check it out i'm still trying to um add some more new products so for now i have accessories a few accessories like hats earrings and um mink lashes and of course some lipsticks so go check it out so let me know what you think please leave me a comment in the comment section let me know what videos you want to be seeing more let's chit chat i like to hear from you guys so feel free to dm me if you have any question and of course the next video is coming up it's gonna be epic so turn on your notification bell so you don't miss the next video okay so i like to cut one strand just to make sure that it's not super long for my lash my real lash and don't forget the giveaway is coming up soon so in order for you to be part of the draw please enter by commenting on my videos watching my previous videos of course share them to your friends and loved ones we're gonna be having a giveaway announcement soon so who's gonna be the lucky winner we don't know yet it might be you so here we go I'm back now let's fix the other lash so I'm looking all the way down I'm gonna do a video showing you guys how to apply false lashes so we use I need the mascara to blend the false lashes with my own lashes so that's what I'm doing now Going in, in the same palette, I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna put a little eyeshadow on my inner tear dot, just because I want it a little more popping. 